I'm coming. Just give me a second. Hello there. How are you doing? You good today? Alright, great. What do we have to work with today? Ah, okay. Beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous hair, by the way. You're welcome. fixed up in no time. You want just a light brushing? Okay. Alright. Well, first I'm going to have to comb it through. And then I'm going to go over it with the bigger brush. I might need to get a booster chair since you are quite a tall person. So give me a moment, please. Thank you. chair up and then now I'm gonna go on top of it. Alright, and this will give me some availability to really reach in the hair. So I'm going to do this get this kind of comb. Alright, let me first stand down to explain myself. I'm gonna get this comb. And then I'm just going to comb through your hair, okay, itty bits, nothing too harsh. And then I will whip out the bigger brush to just brush through it real nice. And you said you wanted some uh, almond oil in your hair. Is that right? That was you on the phone? Okay. Okay, because I have quite a few customers today, so... Start with your hair while the others wait. Okay. And again, please do not take offense to the booster chair. I am not that tall, so um, I would need some height adjustment. Consider it a compliment. Okay. Let's see. quite luscious curly hair, must I say. Yes. You're French? Hmm. Yeah, Europeans have, um, very nice, dark, beautiful hair. Sorry, this is not supposed to hurt. Just parting your hairs, going through it step by step. Oh, don't worry about me, my back is already killing me. angles left. Gotta comb through them. And I already soaked this comb with some special oil so it easily slides along your hair. Okay.
how do you wash it? Mm hmm Okay. That's a good routine. All right. I'm going to get off the booster and go in the back. Just a little bit further now, not too long. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna start from the top here. Get your hair in all directions. Almost finished with the back side. Now I'm going to kneel in this booster and reach over. You have luscious bangs. I'm going to use the thinner side of the comb and just comb through that. Okay. Okay. And just lightly enough to part your hairs aside. going to get on the booster now and use this thinner comb to part through just the fronts of your hair, not the back because you have a lot of uh, curly hair and I don't want to damage it with the comb. I don't think I've ever met someone with such thick consistency of hair. Especially when we age and get older, time. Now I'm just going layer after layer in the front. I'm getting this brush here. It's my favorite brush. And I'm going to brush the whole front and back side now. You still wanted it curly, but you just wanted some definition to your hair.
Let me go in the back. I don't want to rush through this. Some stubborn hair here and there. No worry. Here's the almond oil. This is a specialty. It's called almond gold. And it's enriched with almond proteins. It'll strengthen your roots real nice. I have to shake it a little bit. ensure that I get all the nutrients from the bottom. You ready? It smells really nice. I want the tips too. No? Okay. So good looking. You look like a young Amy Winehouse with this dark hair. It's just beautiful looking. It's all puffed up blow-dry look filled with a wet texture. It just looks amazing. Thank you for stopping by. Are you satisfied with your look? There's a mirror right behind you. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you for stopping by. Next customer, please. Please step ahead. Please step up here. Just stand. Stand right here. Well, 
I don't need to use a booster chair for you. You are shorter than the last person who just came in who you saw. This is a walk-in salon, so we treat a lot of customers. So uh, we do it standing though, because with sitting, some people's shoulders could be scrunched up or backwards. You don't know really what to expect. So let me get a feel of your hair, if you don't mind. Okay, you have shorter hair, very short. It's quite straight doesn't reach to me that far, so I may need to lean in closer at times. It's quite, um, quite messy, so I'm gonna have to brush it through. This special comb. And what this will do is evenly separate and part your hairs. I'll use this to hold my <laughs> comb in my hands just so it doesn't fall over. Uh, this is a good tool to use for you. So let me get a little bit closer and just go through your hair. You have quite short hair, so please bear with if you feel any discomfort at any time during this session. Please let me know. Okay. You're the first to ask. Uh, I normally tell this, but thank you for reminding me. Yes, I do smother all my combs and brushes with a special oily liquid for combing or brushing anyone's hair. First I leave it to sit in a liquid which disinfects the brushes and then I soak them in this special oil so it can be lubricant and part through the hair as nice. You look like you just got out of a salon. What happened? Okay. Yeah, it is very cold and windy today. I don't know what's going on with this weather now. It's hectic. It feels like we're in Alaska or something. So you had it all nice and even, and then the wind blew it away, basically. I see. I feel like I'm in the Princess Diaries. I think I got my comb stuck in your hair. <laughs> I do apologize. This is very um, <laughs> embarrassing sometimes. The wind really uh, did its work. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I finally got the comb out.
Are you the one who requested the blow dry? Okay. Because I noticed as well when I was going through your hair, it's very wet, you know, we don't want you getting sick or anything. So, um, especially with that wind now. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm just going to grab my blow dryer now. Are you comfortable? Okay. Let me just plug the dryer in. going to be very loud, so bear with. That's not going to be that loud. I'm sure you're used to blow drying. Okay. to unplug that. Don't want it to be a fire hazard. Okay, your hair is very warm now. It's nice. It's still a little bit moist, but it's like a damp and moist. It's the moist kind of like when you just pull your clothes out of the dryer and some clothes still have that dampness. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you'll be fine. Um, your hair is very heated and I don't want you to Just go over the back one more time, part them with my hands, and see what I can do. I don't need to do much. <laughs> it's already fixed up nicely. Voila! You are looking gorgeous. Hope you have a nice day. Hello. Yes, please come in. Please come in. Ah, uh, yes. By the way, this is one of the most gorgeous pieces of hair I've ever seen in a long time. It's like Beyonce or something. It's long, it's blonde. Girl, you don't need to change your hairstyle, come on. People will envy you for this look. Now, I have to ask her. What do you need help with? Okay, you want to keep the blondness in. Sounds fair. Let me just go grab something real quick so I can demonstrate how I can help with that. There's something called blonde care. It just comes in a package like this. Okay. And 
and it's a conditioner. It's a defense technology conditioner that you can just pour out while you're in the shower after you shampoo and then you will rub it into your hands soak it all throughout this beautiful hair you have wait about five minutes and then rinse it out this will protect your hair and there's two sample packets which I will provide to you today I'll just put it in your purse okay and what I'm also going to do is use this little bottle the sample spray bottle which I will give to you today it is a flash filler and it's just a sheer mist just whenever you're about to go out somewhere give you that abundant look which you so preserve at this very moment and it will really give you this shine and glow which your blonde hair has so I can tell it looks a little bit orangey and probably is getting dull so I'm going to miss this all throughout your hair today and um, first of all I need to comb your hair out and then I will do it because I don't think I need to brush your hair you have some curls here which I do not want to ruin okay all right and I'm just gonna go from the root down I'm not going to work on your tips because, again, I don't want to damage your curls. Go over with this simple brush. Brush comb. I get the two mixed up all the time. How do you like that? Great. I wish someone would comb my hair. <laughs> I have no hair to work with, and by the way, I do apologize if my hair looks wet to you. I just hopped out of the shower. Yeah, I love it when I go to the hair salon too. It feels so revitalized. You don't have that many problems with your hair tangling up on me or getting stuck in my comb, which is a very good sign that you brush your hair often. <laughs> yeah, a lot of customers I get do not brush their hair, so they need to come to me to repair. I mean, everyone has that occasional tangle or two, but. Pretty nice. Okay. 
I'm going to go in the back and do some work there. This may take a while, depending, because you do have full hair. So just bear with. If you feel any pain from the call, please let me know. I doubt you will. Your hair is very uh, quite thin, actually. It's full, but it's thin. So it's very, very easy to comb through. It's quite the opposite of a challenge. You can hear them. There's people coming in and out all day. It's a very busy day. I'm just pulling the front because I do believe it'll look better if you have a little bit more of your face covered because of a shadow effect. Do you know what that is? No, no. I'm not saying your face needs to be covered. I'm saying you know in those commercials how those women with um, their newly dyed fixed up hair, even though they're wearing wigs in the commercials half the time, they come out to advertise the shampoos or conditioners or any hair product and they have the hair parted kind of like this through their head so it gives them kind of like a defined look. This will do to your face and your hair justice because it will give you a shadow on this half of your face from middle onward and what that will do is also make your hair look like it is larger than it is, like larger than life because it's so full it covers part of your face. just parting the tips of your hair with my fingers gently. But must I say, you have amazing tips. It's very curly. It's vicarious. It's very abundant.
love playing with your hair. <laughs> okay. There you go. Your face looks so good with this hair. Just partially covering. Now it's really going to settle. This spray bottle. So I'm going to go all around once or twice and spray all over your roots, middle sections, and the tips. You ready? Okay, let me start at the front. will smell a little bit like hair dye. It is safe to get on your skin. gather as much of that product deep in your hair as possible and I'm just going to spray on top. You must soak your roots. Halfway done with the bottle. That's a good amount. And I'm just going to run my fingers one more time all throughout your precious hair to make sure the product is smoothly covered. Every part of your hair. You just have to really rub it in. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't get any in your eyes. I'll get a tissue. Is that better? Close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes. <sighs> better. Okay. Just being precautious, I must have got some on your eyelids. My dear. It's still very wet. The good thing about this product is it doesn't dry quickly, I guess. They really need to add these warning labels on a lot of these products because um, the goal of the seller is to try to advertise their product and get people to purchase as much of their product as possible. So they shouldn't really put words like high definition or sheer coverage because many people don't even know what that means. They should put things like doesn't dry quickly, 
stays soaked thoroughly in your hair, uh, makes your hair stay blonde longer, things like that. I think the reason that these sellers use such complex vocabulary is to make it seem intriguing. So even though we don't know what half these words mean, product is in question, and we don't know what it truly does until we purchase it. I'm not trying to advertise anything here to you, of course. However, just thought I'd spark up a conversation with you about that. Your hair is looking great. And is there anything else you need from me today? No? I hope you have a nice day, and your hair should stay gorgeous all day long. Okay. And if you ever need help, please feel free to come back to me. Okay? See ya.